All right, today marks 34 years since the largest art heist in the world. The unsolved case at the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum still haunts Boston to this day. But thankfully, investigators have not given up on locating the stolen works. NBC 10's Evan Desgoda has a closer look at the push to finally crack the case. It's just wild that it's never been recovered. It's a museum mystery that brings visitors to Boston from all over. It's a fascinating story. Even 34 years later. 34 years later, you'd think there'd be some sort of hint to where the things are. On the anniversary of the art heist at the Isabella Stewart Gardner, the tips are still pouring in about the 13 works that were stolen. One person recently thought they spotted a missing Rembrandt in a Zillow listing in Atlanta. Turns out it was a replica. I think it's incredibly unlikely they're hiding in plain sight. The director of the museum security says they got about 20 tips like that last year, along with hundreds of others. And with a $10 million reward, he's not surprised. We want to pay this reward. We're eager to pay this reward. And I hope we do it soon. With the majority of tips focusing on the most famous paintings that were stolen from this museum, the FBI is now trying to draw attention to some of the lesser known works, including these sketches from Degas. You wouldn't necessarily find replicas of any of these in a Zillow listing. I think the more we educate the public on what these look like, uh, you increase your chances that the, the right person at the right time will come across one of them. Former assistant U.S. attorney Robert Fisher, who spent years investigating the heist, says as time passes, you do lose witnesses. In fact, just last month, a former guard who opened the door to the thieves died after a long illness. But he says deaths like that can also lead to a break in the case. Whenever that happens, there is some... Uh, some hope that that maybe somebody that was holding back information that didn't want to implicate a loved one um, or a family member or a criminal associate um, would then come forward. Back at the museum, they say it's not about prosecution. It's about one day filling these frames. Where are they right now? The people who know where they are right now, I believe, are still with us. In Boston. Somebody has information. I'm Abby Nisgoda, NBC10 Boston.